So right now, so many people are looking for ways to make money online. And you, uh, by clicking this video, are probably someone who wants to sell t-shirts. What if I told you that selling t-shirts in 2021 is not a great business idea? In this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why, and we'll jump into it right after this. So the first reason uh, why you shouldn't sell shirts is the quality just is not that great. Uh, here are some posts from uh, my Facebook group, right? We're going to take a look at these posts. We're going to break down uh, what these people were saying about the quality of the products that they received. But first, uh, all of this content here on my YouTube channel is completely free. It takes me forever uh, to get everything together. And I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video or comment or subscribe. That is all you need to do in exchange for this awesome free content. And if you want even more free content, check some of the links down in the description. I have a free step-by-step -step course that will show you exactly how to start your print-on-demand store on Shopify. So here's a post uh, from Nicholas Wilson. Uh, it says, apparently this quality is acceptable by Printful. The rep told him, I do see that you are not satisfied with the print. However, both items were fulfilled fully in compliance within your specifications in our file guidelines. Now let's take a look at this and actually uh, break down the quality. Here is the first image here. Obviously not that great, right? The white has some spots coming through. Uh, there is also a little bit of a white hue around uh, the red. We'll come back to that and break that down in a second. Here's another post here uh, from Avery, basically saying that a product that they got from Printify uh, wasn't that great either. You can see on the print uh, that you can see right through it, right? Not, not good stuff, folks. And then here, this is actually not a print on demand item. It says, does anybody know which POD company can make prints of this quality? Now, this uh, here, you can check down in the comments too, right? I even responded and said, this doesn't look uh, like DTG printing, which we'll talk about uh, in a minute. Someone else said, would this be vinyl? Uh, someone else down here said, that's that's vinyl. I do this as a part of my other business. Uh, someone else down here, uh, where is it? Says, does not look like ink. Uh, this is some other material. Uh, and then someone else named Jennifer says, that is definitely not uh, vinyl. We'll scroll back up and take a look at the sample here. Obviously, something like that is very nice compared to uh, this sample here uh, that someone had, and then also uh, this sample here. So to really understand this, you have to first know uh, that t-shirts and hoodies uh, print on demand style are printed uh, with a printing process that is called direct to garment. Basically, this means that your print on demand company is literally going to lay your product out over a machine and they're going to stamp uh, your design uh, right onto it. And this does not result in a great quality of print. Now, so many people, right? Like I've been running the print on demand ninjas Facebook group now for about three years. That's where these posts are from. You can join uh, via the link down in the description too, if you want to check it out. Uh, but I've been, I've been running this group for a while and a lot of people that are new to print on demand, they start their, their clothing line or whatever it is that they're starting and they're expecting to have really high quality items. And when they get some samples back, they are really disappointed. Now I'm not saying that print on demand in general uh, is low quality. I'm even going to put uh, some overlays on the screen right now of some products that you can sell that have really good quality. That's because when you get away from t-shirts and hoodies uh, and you start selling other products, some of which are printed with a method called sublimination, you are going to get much better print qualities, right? You're going to be selling products that are printed with a completely different method. And honestly, once you start doing that, you are going to have a really nice product every single time. These products that I've shown on the screen are not unique, meaning they are available from lots of different print on demand apps. If you wanna check out some of the other videos on my channel, I break it down, I show you a whole bunch of suppliers that you can use to sell some of these more unique products that are going to give you a better print quality. Now let's say that you are okay uh, with the quality. You're someone who understands that the print on demand t-shirts that you're selling are not necessarily designed to be really high quality items, but more so just silly niche designs. Let's say that you're okay with the quality and you still want to sell shirts. Our next reason why you may not want to is a little bit difficult uh, to deny. Now I have a screenshot on the screen right now. Actually, it's not a screenshot. It's a post inside the POD Ninjas group that I made, uh, basically breaking down uh, 
how many shirts uh, compared to other products you're going to have to sell in a single day to profit $5,000 per month. And honestly, anybody who is looking to create a little bit of freedom in their lives by creating a print-on-demand store and selling products online is probably not going to do it with t-shirts. Let's break down some of these numbers. Some of you might be looking at this and being like, how did Joe come up with this? I want to break it down, right? So let's say that you're selling a shirt and let's say that this shirt costs you $10 and you're also going to spend about $4 to ship that shirt. That's going to bring you to a total cost of $14. Now, I am someone who believes that the best way to sell print-on-demand products is to launch ads and use paid traffic, right? Whether you're using Facebook ads or Instagram ads or even Instagram influencers. And I believe that because really there's no other way that you can truly scale products online. If you're not using any sort of paid traffic, I'm not sure how you are even going to sell a bunch of products in a single day, right? Anyway, here is a study. Uh, this is on wordstream.com. You can see that they broke down uh, a, the average for cost per action right, which means cost to acquire a customer. And you can see here that for apparel, this is the little green bar here uh, that they found that on average people spent about $10.98. Uh, you can all see that right here to acquire a customer. So if you are selling that shirt that costs you $10 and then you're paying $4 to ship it and then you're spending $11 on ads, you're up to $25 in total cost. And honestly, what are you gonna sell that shirt for? 27, right? And then you're only gonna make $2 per sale. And if you break that down on a monthly basis, if your goal is to make 5K a month, you're gonna to have to sell 50 shirts per day. And that's not a great way to run a business. You can see some of these other products here. You only have to sell a fraction of that to make the same amount of profits. And like I said, you can check my channel for some more videos where I break down some of these products that are going to make you a lot more profits. And don't take my word for it. This is a post from someone named Mike inside of the POD Ninjas Facebook group. It says, three days ago, I launched a new product in my store. I'm selling duffel bags. In those three days, I sold 29 units and I grossed one, two, six, four, and 91 cents. I'm not sure why I said it like that. It's $1,264.91 and they netted $740 in profit, which is almost a 59% margin, right? He then says, I also sell shirts and profit just over $9 each. If I sold 29 of those, I would make $261, right? So with the higher margin product, he's making three times uh, the amount. You can see down at the bottom here, he says, so if you want to, so if you're in the, I want to sell t-shirts frame of mind, please listen to Joe Robert and start offering more unique products to your customers which sort of brings me to my next point take a look at what he said offer something more unique to your customers for those who are watching this video that don't care about the quality and also say well Joe I'm not gonna use ads so I don't really care about the margins I'm just gonna sell some shirts and even if I'm only making six or seven dollars a sale I don't really care if that's you, I want you to think about something. Let's say that you're choosing uh, a niche, right? Let's say that your niche is army moms. How are you going to create t-shirts that are different from everything else out there within that niche? And practically any niche that you go in and start looking at, you can see that there are just thousands and thousands and thousands of designs. And they're basically all the same thing recycled over and over again within a niche. How are you going to create something that's actually going to stand out? Right here on Amazon, you can see that if we type in army mom t-shirt, there's over 30,000 results. And as we scroll through, they are all basically the same design recycled over and over again. Some silly text, a silly quote, uh, arranged in different ways with icons and flags and stuff. It's all the same over and over again. Here we are on Red Bubble. We did the same search, Army Mom, right? 7,500 results as we scroll through. It is the same thing over and over again. And lastly, here we are on Etsy, 5,034 results. And again, these Army Mom shirts are the same thing that we have continued to see as we looked at Amazon and also Red Bubble. So like I said, let's say that you are someone who says, Joe, I don't care about the uh, profits. I also don't care about the quality. I'm going to load my designs onto Amazon Amazon, Redbubble, and Etsy. I'm not going to worry about ads and I'm just going to ride out uh, organic traffic. How are you going to break through these thousands of results? How are you going to actually create something that is going to stand out and allow you to truly scale a product? The answer is you're not. You're just going to be just another person here uh, that is selling on Amazon or Redbubble or on Etsy uh, trying to break through uh, with your little t-shirts. 
Now, what if you took my advice and you picked a more unique product and then you said, you know what, Joe, I think you're right about Facebook ads. I'm going to give it a shot. And you promoted that unique product to people on Facebook or Instagram with an ad and maybe got them to buy it. You'd probably make a lot more money. And here's the thing, right? Most print on demand products sell on social media, meaning they are sold to people who have never seen your product or your store before. They're simply scrolling, uh, they're going through, they're scrolling on their phones, and all of a sudden they see your product and they have to make a split second decision. And if you're just doing the same old shirts over and over again, it's going to be very difficult for you to actually get them to purchase. What you would be better off doing is offering something like what you're seeing on the screen right now. Same niche, same design concepts. However, it is on a much more higher margin product. I mean, look at this, right? Go to this one right here. Something like this, right? This is in the same niche, it's basically the same design concepts, it's just on a much cooler product. And if we look at what they are selling it for, they're selling it for $49.99. Now, most print-on-demand apps have this product for under $30, which means that you're making over a $20 margin. And if you are still using ads and spending that $10, you're going to be making sometimes triple the amount than you would with a t-shirt, which in my opinion is a much better business model than selling shirts and just hoping to make two or three dollars per sale. Let's say you did the same thing, but you chose leggings uh, as your product. You can see here that we're scrolling through it and we're seeing, you know, similar things. They're just on much cooler products, right? They're not just plain t-shirts with the same recycled design over and over again. If you were to show something like this in an ad, uh, someone in their newsfeed is likely going to say to themselves, wow, that's a bit different. I think I need that. Take a look at this. This is uh, a matching tank top and legging set, right? You can see that it has, actually, this doesn't actually look like it's uh, an army thing. I think it's just camo. But anyway, you get the point, right? If you were to sell something like this compared to the t-shirt, you're probably going to get more people to your store and more importantly into uh, your, your checkout on your store paying for items because that's the goal here, right? We're not just trying to have fun selling our shirts. We're trying to actually make some money online. And that's what I'm really hoping to help you to do by making videos like this over and over again, even though you guys continue to sell t-shirts. So here's the bottom line. Print on demand is not an easy business model. It's really not. You're going to have to do a ton of work. The most important part is what you are actually trying to sell. You can spend all day working on your store. You can even master uh, Facebook ads. But honestly, the hardest part is actually creating some that people want to buy. This means picking a great niche, also choosing a great product, and then making an epic design that someone is actually going to want to buy. That's the hardest part. Now, let's say that you are someone who does uh, try to sell shirts and you create a winning design, right? You create something that you can sell and maybe you're using Facebook ads and you're even selling some. Why wouldn't you just take that design concept and put it on a better product now that you finally figured out how to actually create something that people want to buy and make some more margin uh, in the process, right? Sounds silly to not, to be honest. Now, here's the thing. If you guys want help, if you watch this video this long, that obviously means that you're at least listening to me a little bit. If you want some help, uh, check the links down in the description. I have a program called the Print On Demand Challenge, and the goal is to help you do just that, to help you to create a print on demand product that can sell, right? Literally holding you by the hand to help you to select a niche, uh, choose a product for that niche that is unique and high margin, and then helping you to come up with an awesome design idea. It's a 14-day program. There's daily training, there's live training, there's homework, and you get a ton of interaction and help uh, from me. So like I said, if you want to check that out and you want to work with me, check the link down in the description. Either way, if you did uh, watch this video this long, make sure to drop a like on it. I hope that by you watching it this long, it means that uh, you enjoy the content, right? So drop a like. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.